going on beach bums uh, if you are on the carnival radiance and you want to go to the Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit 555 steakhouse it is located here on deck four <clears throat> between java blue and pixels you'll see the, the a sign for the sunrise restaurant which is straight ahead but just to the right of it you'll see the Fahrenheit Fahrenheit gosh I cannot talk today Fahrenheit 555 steakhouse the entrance is here and you'll walk in you'll be uh, and it's closed right now but they've uh, made it come down so they got the kitchen area right back here awesome manager right here <laughs> allowing me to film in here so this is the largest just so you understand this is the lay this is gonna be the layout it's not a large venue so make sure you plan and reserve ahead and uh, make sure so this is the largest table they have this table looks like of eight right here as you first come in and then you've got these other tables you got a table for four uh, here so four of them so two tables of two over here and it just kind of goes up of tables of two and then over here on this other side uh, just to kind of get a general idea so if you have a larger party make sure you plan ahead and try to make sure that all of your um, reservations are connected so I'm coming back for my birthday on June 10th there are uh, I believe 12 of us coming uh, we reserved for 12 uh, coming to the steakhouse on the first night so um, I just coordinated with the manager to make sure because we had a table of five um, that we end up having to kind of just sit across from each other it wasn't a big deal but it was just kind of a good learning experience so again just kind of walking slowly so you have a, a good idea of how this restaurant is laid out so make sure again it's not a, a large venue on the ship so make sure you get your reservations early get, um, and uh, make sure if it, especially at night you want Friday nights the most popular night on this three-day cruise uh, you, you get the you know the, the free bottle of house wine and, and then I think 50% off of uh, other wines and stuff so um, just keep that in mind so anyway now you guys can see the little venue here and uh, we'll talk to y'all later thanks okay, Beach Bums dinner on the first night tonight is at the Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse uh, we're starting out with the uh, Wagyu slider so let me show you that here sea salt bread please that looks really good I'll have to try it in a little bit now she's bringing some bread to the table for your bread sea salt bread pretzel stick or the pretzel I like the thin one yeah thank you Perfect, thank you so much. Uh, this piece of bread here. There's so much food, so I don't really want to fill up with bread, but I, mean, I had that last time I was here, so that was really good. Another thing, another little tip for, let me try to adjust this. For the first night, if you get it, you get a free bottle of wine. You get to choose between red and white, so I chose the red wine. It uh, looks like a Merlot. So, Anyway, and if you don't if you don't want to drink it during dinner, you can ask for it to just be uh, brought to you this way, and you can have it later on in the evening time or whatever. So that's what we've done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this. I had it last time I was here, but I didn't film. It was kind of loud. We had people next to us that were talking, and so it was just it was difficult to film. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl right now. So it was really good last time. I, I'm gonna imagine it's gonna be the same thing this time. Hmm. Yes, delicious. Evan's gonna try it for the first time, so I'm gonna film him. Help film him here in a second when he's ready. Evan, you're doing this live or not live, but so get ready. It looked much bigger in the photos. It's mm. literally, I'd say it's like the size of maybe a 50 cent piece. But I've heard it just packs a wallop of taste. It's so, so cute. Oh, I want a picture of this. I, I, uh, I took one, but can I take a picture if you want? Did you guys do a selfie with the Wagyu? The Wagyu slider? Alright. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm not going to eat it all at once. Just keep the people waiting. <laughs> wow. That take is a, delicious. Good flavor, right? Yeah, I'm stuffed. Yeah. Alright. Very that's good it. flavor. Very go. juicy. Yeah, right? Well, there you go, guys. That's it. We'll uh, we'll uh, talk about the other things that we got. We got uh, appetizers and entrees and all that stuff. So we'll be back with you. 
Uh, it's appetizer time. So I did confirm there was a conversation back and forth on some of the Facebook groups about how many appetizers you can have. It's one appetizer and one soup or salad. So you can have one super salad with the appetizer. You can't order just two other, like you can't, you can't have the shrimp cocktail and one of the other regular appetizers. It's, it's one of the appetizers and then a, a super salad. So just keep that in mind. Some people are saying, oh no, you can have more than one appetizer. They may have, I'm not, I'm not calling anybody liars, but from what they're telling us, it was either super salad with one of the appetizers. Okay, with that said, uh, with the bread, we got these uh, the regular butter and what was the other butter? Basil. Basil. Um, it's butter with basil powder over it. Butter with basil powder. So that came with the bread. I forgot to mention that earlier. Okay, so here's the shrimp cocktail. So we went jumbo shrimp cocktail. Looks like he went jumbo shrimp cocktail as well. I went over there. And uh, with a American, <laughs> she said American cocktail sauce. <laughs> and then uh, there's like a little wedge of lime. So that looks delicious. All right, guys. I'm going to... And again, I had, this is a, what I had last time too. Um, but I, again, I didn't film it, so I, I, I think it was pretty much everything I got was the same thing I got last time. Except that last time I didn't get the, the soup because I didn't know. And now that I've asked and all that. So I did get a lobster basil, I'll try that. So here's the um, shrimp cocktail. I, I, it's jumbo shrimp. It's a really good sized shrimp. So hopefully you guys can see that. And um, you know, dip it in the shrimp cocktail. Good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna dig into this and I'll uh, come back when I get the lobster beef. Talk you on a bit. Um, the lobster bisque is here. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But, um, a little something else that we found out. If you're ordering drinks, um, the iced tea that you would normally get uh, is free. But one thing that, um, like in the main dining room, if you order lemonade, or it used to be, I'm gonna have to find out in the main dining room. If you order the lemonade, uh, it's there's a charge for the lemonade, unless you have the Cheers or Bubbles. If you have Cheers package or Bubbles package, then I'm talking about here in the steakhouse. In the steakhouse, if you order the uh, lemonade, just know that they'll charge you unless you have Cheers or Bubbles. So just keep that in mind. All right, lobster bisque time. So here we go. Correction. The lemonade is included in Cheers and Bubbles. Whoa. Wow, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna dig into that. It looks really good. It looks really hot. So, I mean, like temperature hot. I'm gonna give that a shot. I didn't have this last time, so Let's see. If... This one is not. This one is not temperature hot. It's it's warm, but not like. Um, I, I was expecting like. I'm guessing the French onion is probably really hot. Right? So I haven't got the uh, French onion. And the, the broth itself is it's very hot, very hot. It's a mild, mild French onion soup, but it's very good. All right. Yeah, I've heard really good things about their French onion soup. I wanted just to try the lobster bisque. Maybe next time I'll try the French onion. But, all right, I'm gonna dig into this. We'll be back. Okay, our entrees are here now. Uh, I got the surf and turf, so the filet mignon and uh, lobster. The filet mignon has a uh, Bernays sauce over it. I also got the mashed potatoes, Yukon gold mashed potatoes like that, and the, uh, for the side and the mushrooms on the side. So let me show you those. So, so there's the uh, lobster and the filet mignon, some drawn butter. Lemon wedge, and then here we have the uh, mushrooms, Yukon gold mashed potatoes. So, really, really good. Uh, I had them last time, but try it again here. But um, on the soups, just a little quick feedback. Um, then we both, I got the lobster bisque, and it was flavorful. And then my buddy got the uh, French onion soup, and uh, he had to add a lot of salt and pepper to make it flavorful. It was very, very hot. Was, but yeah, so um, I would say I'm gonna try the salad next time, the Caesar salad, see if I like that. But hey, you know, you gotta try it, see if you like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dig in on the, uh, the filet and the lobster. So. So I ordered the I ordered the filet medium. And just so you know, if you order medium, there you go. So that's, 
Very well seasoned. You can kind of taste the salt on the outside. Like a coarse salt or something like that. Very good. Pretty decent size, and I'm gonna dip it into the uh, drawn butter. It's good. Um, not, I mean, it's not great. It's good though. It's good. Um, kind of, I'm not a food review guy, so. I don't know all the proper terms and it's stuff, but fantastic. it's kind of like I'm like eating it slowly, a little mushy, so and that, maybe just that piece that I got. But uh, Donna, but it's kind of nice and flavorful. So all right, I'm gonna dig in. I'll show you in a bit. So I forgot to show whatever got. Um, I'll let him tell you. So here you go. This is an 18 ounce spice rub ribeye USDA prime, and it is absolutely fantastic. It's the best steak I've ever had. a little piece and show it to the order. I ordered a medium. Media. Okay. So, because last time, uh, there you go. Very nice. Okay. There you go. He, and he did the uh, mashed potatoes and the, uh, the mushroom mushrooms. are terrific. So, okay. Just wanted to let you know. Forgot that. Uh, to mention what he got. All right. Talk to you later. I just wanted to show the mushrooms. It's hard, maybe hard to see inside of the, the little thing. So just kind of get a general idea of what the mushrooms are like. They're really good. Kind of like that, cut up. So very tasty. So I just had a bite, but just wanted to show you what they look like. Because they're hard to see inside the little thing. All right, guys. All right, dessert time. Uh, I'm tapping out. Uh, I took my cheesecake to go. Evan got the sphere. The chocolate sphere. I missed the pour. I am uh, in food coma, so I missed the, the pour, but it looks delicious. Um, so one thing that we found out is that the only dessert you can take to go is the cheesecake, which is good. That's fine. That's what I ordered. Here it is. It's a pretty good size. I think it was bigger, believe it or not. I mean, that's pretty good size still, but when I got it last time I was here, it seemed like it was bigger, but hey, I don't, that's fine. That's more than enough for me. But let's see, let's see what Evan's reaction is to the uh, to the chocolate sphere. There. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. Okay, I'm a chocolate holler. Uh, I was gonna say, wait a minute. Mm. It's chocolate, and I think there's a raspberry sauce inside it. Oh, okay. And I'm not sure what the the, 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 the mousse. But it's it's delicious. It's an overload. There you go. So I'm gonna stop recording because I think I'm gonna be. <laughs> Which is a lot of food. Just be prepared. Come hungry. Yeah, come hungry is my best piece of advice. Um, I do have one other thing I'll, I'm gonna share, but I'll wait till we step out. Just about if you're coming in large groups, something that we just learned ourselves. So, but I'll talk about it when we uh, step out of here. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, just a quick wrap up back in the room where it's a little quieter and I didn't really want to talk about it there in the restaurant one because I didn't want um, the staff to feel bad because the manager did their best. But anyway, so we there was five of us that had the um, that, you know, we're going to the steakhouse. They ended up sitting uh, me and Evan at the one table that you saw and then uh, our three friends to the left, I guess it would have been to my left anyway. Um, they couldn't see us all together and he said well because the reservations were separate well of course they were separate right our bookings were separate and all that we're in separate rooms so I said like you know we linked our you know like you, there's a way that you can link for those of you who are familiar with it you can link your reservations uh, for for dining and things like that sorry so I thought that would be enough and apparently it wasn't and I said to him now I'm concerned because there's a larger group of us coming back for my birthday uh, next next month uh, on June 10th. So I said, you know, uh, <laughs> there's gonna be 10 to 12 of us, I think, um, that I know of that are that are doing the dining. There's probably gonna be more, maybe, you know, whatever. But anyway, 
Um, so he said, well, you, you have to let us know in advance. Luckily, I'm here, so I could tell him. He said, come back in the next you know, day or two, whatever, when you find out how many people are, and I'll do my best to accommodate because I, I can see future reservations. Now, if you are not here like I am, and you have a larger party coming, he said that you would have to call the Miami headquarters and, and get it all connected and stuff, which is crazy. I don't, I don't know. I need to find out more about this, but I just want to make everybody aware that if you have a larger party, um, you know, cause they don't, they, they have one big table that I think sat, I want to say like six to eight people. Um, that's like right in the beginning, the, the restaurant's not big. Again, it's not his fault, the manager's fault or anything like that. It's just something that none of us would know unless, you know, it's shared like this. So hopefully by sharing this with you guys that you can kind of just do that due diligence beforehand. If you have a large party, um, you know, ask the questions, find out the best way to make sure that all your party gets to sit together. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Um, we'll see how this works out over the next couple of days to get my large party together and whatever information I find out. Um, I'm going to do like a wrap up, um, probably a live show most likely or something like that. Um, so subscribe to the channel and stay connected. So when I do go live and I can, you know, I'll be talking about this and any other things that come up during this cruise. So, all right guys, have a good one. That's my wrap up for the steakhouse restaurant. Have a good evening and we'll talk to you all later.